Hi, David. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for being on time uh, for the class. Great. We are going to wait uh, a couple of minutes for your classmates. Just one moment. Okay, teacher. All right. Okay, let's see. I see someone else uh, online. Edson Stanley. Hello, good evening. Hello, Edson. Do you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hello. Good, evening. good evening. Thank you for being in class. Okay, perfect. We are three, we are a few. And Joanna is connecting already. Okay, she's connecting the audio. Joanna, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Joanna, how is it going? How is it going? Good, nice. No escucho bien. Okay, uh, let's see. How do you hear uh, okay. me? Okay. Yeah. Okay, yes. better. Yeah. Okay, better, better. How is it going? ¿Cómo le va? How is it going? Uh, um, very well. Very well. Thanks. Okay, perfect. And guys, in, how was your day in general? Good day. What day? Tiring day. How was it? How was how was your day? More or less. Mm, okay, it would be better to say so so. Sería mejor decir so 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 eh, people say it, la gente se lo dice, ¿verdad? Pero it's better to say so, so. So, so. Mm -hmm. All right. And we are four in the others, in the other classmates. Okay. We are going to begin. And the other classmates can add to the class. All right. Just let me share the screen with you. Okay, I am presenting. Do you see what I share? Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, yesterday in during the class we were pending. Estamos pendientes. We were pending with this a part. This is about what? Intonation speaking. Intonation in speaking. Okay. Uh, the first arrow, what is the direction of the first arrow? Up. Mm -hmm. The direction is up. up. Okay. And the other one is? Down. 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 All right. Up and down. Correct. When you speak in English, in many cases, you can give the correct intonation depending on the sentence, dependiendo de la sentence. Intonation is important. It's important in questions more than that. In the majority of the times, in questions, we can use them or we can use it talking about intonation. Let's see. The intonation... Can you the read it? The intonation in English, English expresses, 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 expresses intonation, high energy, high, high energy, energy, emotions, 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 emotions or down feelings. Down feelings. Down feelings. Okay, American people use a lot of intonation to express these three things. 
Have you seen uh, any movie in English, guys? Have you seen any movie in English or any TV program or series? Sometimes. Sometimes. Can you remember uh, one in which you can see people uh, using high energy when they express or expressing emotions or down feelings? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. In which one? Which TV program have you seen that? No? In any? No. Okay, for example, uh, in Friends, in the TV program Friends, do you know it? Have you heard about Friends? The American TV program. Yes. Okay. Yes. What is, who is the, the, the person that expresses more energy of uh, the characters. Which character expresses more energy? Phoebe. Phoebe is one. Do you remember the blonde one? La Rubia. Phoebe. Uh -huh. Or Rachel. Who expresses a high energy Ooh, when, when, she, when she speaks? Rachel. Uh, no, not much, but Phoebe, yes. Phoebe uses a lot of high energy when she speaks and she expresses a lot of emotions and even down feeling. And that is why intonation in speaking is important. Okay, what is the emotion uh, in the face? Hmm? The sad. emotion is, okay, sad, sad. correct. The, that is what is expressing, sad. Okay, when you are sad. And this one is the opposite. The opposite is? Happy. Correct, happy. Okay, sad happy. and happy. All right, good. Let's see. Uh, falling. Intonation. After names. Falling intonation. After names. Okay, this is only uh, one example about intonation. Can you read the sentence, please? You are really, you are really still. Oh, okay. What is the intonation after the name? Because it says intonation falling. Intonation uh, decreciente hacia abajo or decreciente is the same. Intonation after names. You are really fit, Paul. Can you see? The intonation goes down. Hey, you are... You are very intelligent, uh, uh, Jose. All right? It's not a question. It is only a normal sentence with the following intonation. Can you can you pronounce it? Uh -huh. Jose? Jose, can you pronounce it? Can you try it? Puede tratar? Or maybe Joanna or Elvira, Jancy, uh, David. Can you try to read it with the intonation, with the volume? Okay, go, go ahead. You are really fit, Paul. Okay, good. You are really fit, Paul. That is one. Uh, we have another one that is. She looks tired, James. She looks tired, James. Okay, or do we say, she looks tired, James? First one or second, intonation? The first one. The first one, because not a question. This is not a question, it's a normal sentence. After names, after names, we use the falling, falling intonation. And the third one is, I, I feel, feel great, great. Doctor, Lee. Dr. Lee. Okay, but in the first part, what is the emotion that you can see in in the words? What is the emotion? High energy or down feeling in this one? High energy. High energy. High High energy. energy. I High feel energy. great, Doctor Lee. I feel great, Doctor Lee. Okay. And the following intonation should be after the names. Debería estar después de los nombres. 
All right. And let's see. That was pretty much what we have pending. Eso era lo único pendiente. Intonation. Okay. No big deal with that one. I'm going to close the presentation. And I have opened uh, the class number three. The one that we are going to check. Okay. Guys, uh, for the ones who connected. Uh, thank you, Jansi. Hello. How is it going? Jansi, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good hello. evening. Uh, let's see, Elvira, Lorena, hello, good evening. Perfect that you are in class. Jose Daniel, too, good evening and welcome. We are in the class. Hello, teacher. Hello, 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 great to hear you. We are eight, eight people. All right. Let's see uh, the indications, you know them. The camera on, uh, your attention, be attentive, uh, your name, and the schedule. The schedule, it's already 9 p.m. or past. And participation, your participation is always important. And your attendance during the classes, your questions. If you have questions, you can make them, of course. That's not important. And the four things, the four things that we need to practice in every class. One. Speaking. One. Okay, the speaking, the speaking. speaking. Next. Listening. 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 Grammar. 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 Practice. And the practice. Grammar okay. in. Mm -hmm. In practice, if you if you want to improve in your speaking English, what you need, what we need is to practice a lot during the class. Okay, remember it's only one hour, it's very quick. Okay, and the links that we use. All right, and the model. In the topic, do you? Do you? Do you exercise? You exercise. Yes. Do you exercise? Uh, if you ask me, I used to, to, I used to exercise before. So, Lydia, I used to. I used to. The structure, we are not studying used to. No estamos estudiando used to, but I'm going to show you. Okay, used uh, to. Okay. This structure is used uh, when you say um, pretty much when you did something in the past. Cuando si algo en el pasado, but not anymore. You don't do it anymore. For example, do you exercise? I, I said at the beginning, I used to exercise before in my case. So, Leah, I used to. So, Leah and Carmen, not anymore. I'm busy in this moment, a lot, a lot busy. And you guys, do you exercise? Who is Galaxy at 30? Who is in the class? Remember your name, your name in the class. Who is Galaxy at 30? Quien es? Carlos Alvarez. Ah, okay, Carlos, what happened? I don't see the name on, on, the, on the profile, in the profile. Okay. But remember, you can you can add your name. You can add your name. Okay, no problem. All right. Do you exercise? Uh -huh. General question. Do you exercise in your house? Maybe. Yes, Carlos. You have your hand. Okay. Okay, guys. I am asking. Do you exercise or no? I used to exercise I used before. To. Okay, Jancy. Uh -huh. Okay, no problem. When I'm still working, says Elvira. Okay, no problem. And who else? And you, Edson, do you exercise? Do you go to the gym? I sometimes uh, exercise. Uh, exercise. Okay, uh, cool. Twice, twice a, a week. Okay, I sometimes exercise twice a week, but only one, only one, or other frequency. Sometimes, or... I sometimes. I sometimes exercise, exercise. Yes. Okay, that's it, that's it. And Jose, can you? Do you practice? Do you exercise? No? 
Yes. Okay. Uh, Joanna? I used to exercise before. Two. Not anymore. Ya yeah, no. Not anymore. Yeah, Why not? Anymore. <laughs> David, what about you? Okay, David, Celia, tell Carmen, do you exercise? Sometimes. Okay, sometimes. sometimes. But complete, complete sentence. I sometimes. I sometimes. Exercise. Okay. okay, I sometimes exercise. Okay, what exercise or sport do you do you practice? Okay, it doesn't matter if you did it in the past. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. I I can I can say uh, I used to room before. Okay, the question should be can I can I remember can I switch switch the order? Can I say? Can okay? Can uh, I say? Can I say? I used to room before. Run. Pronunciation is a run. 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 For example, uh, the Harry Potter character, Harry Potter's friend, is a run, right? Ron Winsley. Okay, like that, like that pronunciation, like his name. Okay, run. Yes, it is. It is correct. I used. I used to run before. Yeah, same as me, lo mismo que yo. I used to run a lot before. All right. Now that, yes, question or doubt? You can participate. Participation is always open. Siempre está abierta la participation. All right. Let's see. Uh, what sport did you practice in the past? What is sport? Okay, running. Uh, Jancy said running. Running for me too. I used to practice running a lot. Carla, and you? Hello? Mm, running too. Running too. Okay. Uh, in a gym or or outside? At the park. At the park. Yes. Okay, at the park. Okay, good. And the rest, the rest of you, any sport, any special sport that you practice? I the practice a uh -huh. little of basketball. Basketball, okay, basketball is good. I like it, but not too much. No, I must say, okay, but I like it. Good. And football? Teacher. Yes? Teacher. Yes. How yes. do you say, how do you say, yo iba al, al gym? Uh, I went to the gym. Correct, or... I went, correct. The bear is when. Went okay. Si quiere decir solía ir. Solía ir. What is the, the structure? Solía ir. I used to... I used to the gym. I used to... To go. To go. I right. used, I used to, to go. go. Correct. I used to go. Uh, oh, I lost the... Okay, I used to go at the gym. To the gym. To, to the, the gym. gym. To, to the gym. To the gym. Okay, the structure is different, but it is correct in simple parts. I went. I went to the gym. Hey, when what happened? Not anymore. Because of the work. Or Teacher, the one question. Yes. Question, question, yes. Uh, el used uh, podría ser solía. It is, it is. It is, es. Yes, correct. Solía ser esto, solía ser aquello, etc. I used it too. That is the structure. Y tipo, yo usualmente iba al gym. Uh, I usually went. Usualmente okay. iba. I usually went. I usually Thank went you. to the gym. Uh, okay, you can say it in, in simple past because went is simple past and you are using adverb frequency. Mm, yeah, you can, you can use it. I usually, but it's better to say this one. Suena mejor esta. Mm -hmm. All right. Good, good, good. Let's continue. Next exercise. Okay, now we are going to talk about and discuss about fitness. 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 Cavalry. Cavalry. Okay. Then. Fitness. Cavalry. Terms. 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 Terms.
in English. Okay, the first vocabulary that we are going to check is workout. 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 What is workout? Idea? Ejercitar. Uh, exercise. Entrenamiento. Uh, to do exercise, correct. Workout. Do you work out uh, in the mornings? Do you work out? Mm. In my case, sometimes. No, I don't. Okay, but try to use the vocabulary. I sometimes. I sometimes work out. Work out in the morning. morning. Correct. Okay, perfect. That's it. Remember, the purpose is, the propósito es, the purpose is that you try to use all what we see during the class. So you can get that vocabulary in that, in this case. Okay. Uh, next. Warm. 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 Warm up. Warm up. Warm up. Okay. Warm. If you have problems with the pronunciation, try this. I can try that warm, warm, warm up. Warm up like that. Warm up. Warm up. Warm up. Easier, right? Más fácil, ¿verdad? Okay, Elvira, Elvira says, and I always liked playing softball a lot. Ah, softball, like you use your, your hands like that or like this to play it. Okay, softball, good. Okay, uh -huh. repeat it. Warm. warm up. What is warm, warm up? up? What is warm up? Warm. Do, you consider, yeah, no. do you consider important to warm up before exercising? Yes. Uh -huh. In yes. warm up is? Calentar. Uh, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. We need mm -hmm. to warm up before any exercise to avoid uh, any injury para evitar cualquier herida. Okay, next. The next vocabulary. Cool, cool, cool down. down. Cool down. down. Cool down is the opposite. The opposite of warm up. And is? In prayer. Yeah. Do, you, do, you, do you cool down? Before taking a shower, guys, do you do you cool down before taking a shower? Okay. Yes. No. Yes. Cool down. It is important cool down. to do it. So correct. If you don't cool down, that is bad. When you take a shower and you are hot when your body has a temperature. So you need to cool down. Okay, next. Jogging. Jogging, Jogging is? Rotar. 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 Okay, uh, the next one. Dieting. Dieting, Di dieting. repeat, dieting. 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 Okay, do you have any diet? Do you have any diet in this moment? No. No. You mm. eat everything. Come de todo. You eat everything. Yes. <laughs> Uy, be careful with the food. Uh, okay. Especially junk food. A little. Okay. A little. Okay. Yeah. Be careful with uh, papa fritas, French fries, oh. hamburgers, hot dogs, no. mata niños. <laughs> Uh, what else? Uh, tortas. All that is junk food. <laughs> Try to do some dieting. I guess that yeah, that sometimes. Okay. Next. Aerobics. 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 Okay. This is common in the gyms. This one. Gym. gym. Okay. Gym. Normal. Normal term. Yoga. 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 Or Pilates. Pilates. Pilates, Pilates. Pilates or Pilates or how? How do you pronounce it? Pilot. 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 I'm um, not sure. Not sure. Let's see. Pilates. 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 Mm, okay. Let's try the second, the second tool. Pilates. 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 Okay. Pilates. Pilates. Similar, very similar. Okay, very similar. All right. Next, uh, after Pilates. Oh, junk food. What is the junk food that you love? 
the most? What is the junk food that you, mm, you say? Mm, mm, French fries. Yes. Ah, okay, French fries. And you, Jose, what is the junk food that you say, mm, I would eat this every, every weekend? What is the junk food that you like? Unhealthy food. Unhealthy, yes. Ah, okay, unhealthy, that is another vocabulary. Unhealthy. That is equal as not, not healthy. Not health. Not healthy, Un, unhealthy. Is negative, is negative. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for sharing that vocabulary. Okay, what is the junk food that you love? Tell me. What is the junk food that you prefer or that you love eating? Pizza. Pizza, pupusas, pupusas. pupusas. Tortas. Okay. Tortas from the Sarko or from the Tecno, the from chori. everyone, the Choris. <laughs> Okay, the, what else? Okay. French fries and Jancy? Hamburgers. Hamburgers. Okay, that is junk food. Okay, hamburgers too. Mexican food. Mexican. Okay. But not all food. Pero no toda, creo. Okay, not all food. is unhealthy. Okay, healthy. Healthy, healthy food. Tell me healthy food Salad. that you eat. Salad. Salads. Okay. Salads. Uh, Vegetable. Vegetables. Okay. Sugar free. Fruit. Ah, okay. Food sugar free. Okay. Comida libre de. Sugar. Sugar. Yes. What is sugar? Free. Sugar. sugar free. Correct. Sugar free. Okay. That is a healthy food. Uh, what else? Mm, cereals. Cereal. Water. No, but cereals contain integral. a lot of sugar. Integral. Water. Okay. Water, integral things uh, are composed of grains. Composed Protein. of grains. Proteins, correct. Okay. Proteins, and we have a lot of things. Proteins, uh, grains, that is a healthy food, etc. All right. Okay. Let's see if we have a more vocabulary. At the end, uh, okay, no. And this one is? Gym instructor. Instructor. Gym instructor. Gym or the instructor. trainer, right? Trainer. We can call that person trainer too. All right. Let's see if we have more, more things. Okay, five. Five English. English idioms <laughs> about fitness. About fitness and health. Fitness and health. What is an idiom? Any idea? Yeah. Do you have any idea? Uh, like a refrain. Ah, like a refrain, refrain. No. An idiom is not a, a refrain, it's a saying. The word is for refrain is saying. A popular saying in El Salvador is. Do you know any popular saying in El Salvador? Huh? No. Eh, que entre lobos anda, voy a aprender. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Bad companies, in other words, bad companies. Okay, good. That is a saying, un refrán. But an idiom, uh -huh. an idiom is an, ex an idiomatic, or in the idiom, talking about that, idiomatic expression that you use instead of saying and in a normal way you can use it in a different way this is an idiomatic expression for example uh, which idiomatic expressions do we have in el salvador no sayings idiom idiom in el salvador uh -huh. Chero. <laughs> chero, 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 okay, that is a simple word, es una palabra simple, sí, only, only one word, but that is an idiom, in other countries people don't know, la gente no sabe, chero, okay, what else? Volado, volado, volado. oh, very famous, uh -huh. volado, that's a, a, an idiom, in a word, en una palabra, uh -huh. in a sentence, do you know any idiom? Uh, Salvadorian idiom. 
in a sentence. Curiosity oh. kitty cat. Curiosity in, in Spanish, in Spanish. Uh -huh. uh, la curiosidad mató al gato. Uh, that's a popular, okay, a popular idiom. Okay. Yeah, okay, good. All right. Do you get the difference uh, between the saying in an idiom? Do you get the difference? Yes? Yes. Teacher. It is not the same. It is not the same. Okay, let's see idioms in English about fitness. The first one. In bad, in bad shape. In bad shape. shape. What is in bad shape? Estar en mala forma. Okay. Question. Question for you. Let's make a conversation club. Hagamos un club de conversación. Bye. Do you consider that you are in a bad shape? Yes, I am. Yes. Okay. Why? 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 I need Reasons. to work out. Ah, because you need to work out. Uh, if you ask me, teacher, and you, do you consider that you are in a bad shape? I am in a half bad shape. I am in a half. Okay, estoy en media, media mala forma. <laughs> okay, I am in a bad, in a half, in a half bad shape. Not completely, because I used to exercise in the past, but I stopped. Pero me detenido ahorita. Okay. And you? And the rest of you? Uh, Jancy, Edson, Stanley, uh, Celia. And... I am not in a in bad shape. In a, a, a bad, in, in a bad a, shape. In a bad shape. Okay. You are not. Okay, that is good that you aren't. Que no esté in bad shape. Uh -huh. And the rest? Share, share, share with the class. And yeah, yeah but it, I, I'm in a hard, bad shape. In a hard, bad shape. Oh, okay. You need to exercise a little bit. Everyone, okay? <laughs> everyone we need because this exercise is good for everyone. Uh, let's see, tell me who you, you're with. Ah, okay, tell me who you're with. I'll tell you who you are. This is a saying, a saying in Spanish. Dime con quien andas. Similar to the wolves. Similar al de los lobos. Yes. Dime con quien andas, te diré quien eres. Uy. Okay. Good, good. Uh, next. Next idiom. Back into Back shape. Into shame. Back into, shape. into. Back into shape. Okay. Do you want to be back uh -huh, in shape? Do you want? Quiere? Yes. Back yes, into I shape. Want. Yes, I yes, want. Yes, I want. Everyone, right? Want. <laughs> Everyone, we want. Okay. Uh, try to practice. Uh, make a question with this one. Make me a question. Mm -hmm. Question. Do you, do you back into shape? Do you back into shape? Okay, we have a problem in that part. Do you back? Do you back into shape? Okay, do you want... Do you back into shape is incorrect. Let's uh, correct it. Hay que corregirla. What's going on there? What happened? Are, are you? Are you? Are you? Wish? Are you? Okay, are you is correct. Are you? Uh -huh. You can are use you? the verb to be. Are you back into shape in this moment? No, I'm not. Definitely I'm not. Okay, that is correct. Another option that you can use instead of the verb to be. You can use auxiliary, but you need to use another verb in this part. Wish? Do you wish, correct? Do you wish to back? Okay, do you wish to, to be back? Verb to be. Okay, do you wish the sales? Do you wish to be back into shape? Okay. It would be better this way. Aquí sí tendremos que usar verb to be again. But with no verb to be, uh, we can use one, two. 
Okay, do you want to pack? Mm, no, neither. Where to be? Where to be? Better. Do you? Do you want to be back? Regresar. I start in. Correct. Yes. Hey, teacher, but is it possible to combine the auxiliary and the verb to be in one sentence? Look at this part. Do you want? It is correct. To be back? It is correct too. Okay. That is in that part, it is correct. But you cannot do this. I am. I am go to the gym, for example. I am go to the gym. Correct or incorrect, guys? This one. Incorrect. Teacher. Correct. Yes. And why this one is not incorrect? Why not? Por qué no? This one. I am combining the auxiliary do and the verb to be in one sentence. And here I am doing the same. Y aquí hago lo mismo. But number two is incorrect and number one is correct. Why? Okay. Do you Why? go to the gym? Do you go to the gym? Ah, okay. Do you go? Go is uh, for simple present, correct? We don't need the verb to be. Do you go to the gym? Uh -huh. In a question. Now is correct. Okay, making it correct, it will be like that. Do you want to be back into shape? It is correct. Even though we have the auxiliary, and in this part, the verb to be. Algunas veces se puede combinar como en esta. Okay, pero no en todo, no en todo. All right, let's continue with the next idioms. Number three. Cast iron stomach. Uh, yes. Stomach, stomach with letter K, stomach. Cast iron, stomach. What is that idiom? Estomago de hierro. Okay, okay. I have heard another word instead of uh, this one. Yo he oído otro en lugar de este. Okay, are you or do you cast iron in stomach? Mm -hmm. Do you have cast iron in stomach? You, you can eat everything and nothing before. Huh? Before. Before, before, yes. <laughs> uh, before, yes, not yes. anymore. Okay, this is a, an idiom that you can use. Another one is full of oh, beans. Full of beans. Full, full of beans. Ah, lleno de frijoles. <laughs> Full of beans. I uh, remember, remember that it's an idiom. Okay, an idiom is different. Full of beans is. Okay, are you or uh, are you full of beans at work? Are you full of beans at work, guys? Don't I? I so, some I am sometimes repeat it. Repeat it. I am. I am. I am sometimes full of beans. Bean. Okay, I am sometimes full of beans. Okay, perfect. You are using the adverbs of frequency with the idiom combined with the idiom. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Uh, and the last one. Get, get back, back on, on your, your feet. feet. Get back on your feet. What does it mean that? Recuperarse de enfermedad. Uh -huh. Okay. Recuperarse you can de... correct. Recover. We have normal verbs that we can use. Tenemos verbos normales. We can use recover. Okay. We can use uh, recover. What else? What else? Talking about health. Hablando de salud. Recover. We can we can use no. normally. Uh, be no, better. Normal verbs. Yes, normal verbs. Get better. Ah, get better. Mejorarse. Get better. And we have the idiom. Do you remember the idiom? <laughs> Okay, get Elvira says, which, which one, baby? Teacher, what is the idiom? Okay, one, one. Okay, David first. Okay, David, can you repeat it? Go back into your feet. Go back 
onto your feet. Okay, that is similar. Yes. Go back. Go back. Let's see. Go back. And this is get. Get. Get back. It would be get. Get back. Get back on. On your feet. Okay, this is idiom. Uh, who asked? Who asked about the idiom? Who asked about the idiom? Me. Uh, me, Carla. You, Carla. Okay. Uh, in this part, we were saying at the beginning, we were sharing some uh, sayings. Estamos hablando de sayings. And saying is a... Refrain. In an idiom is... Is an idiomatic expression. I remember. All right. Okay, perfect. Thank there you. is a difference. Okay, good. There is a difference. All right. Get back onto your feet. So you can you can tell one person. Hey, were you sick, uh, Joanna? Were you sick? Were you sick last week, Joanna? No. Say no, say yes, say yes. Were you sick, guys? Were you sick last week? Affirmative, affirmative. Answer is? Were you sick, guys? Yes, I were. Yes, I were. Yes, yes I were. I were. Mm. Yes, yes, I was. I mm. were. Mm. Yes, I were. Yes, I were. Oh, incorrect. Uh, no. Yes, I Let's, was. Ah, yes, okay. I do. Yes, I do. Yes, yes I, I was. Do. Okay. Yes, why I is... was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Hey, teacher, but why? What is this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where? And where is? Where? Was. No, where is? And was. where is? Auxiliary. Or... <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Where is the, sim fast. the simple past of the verb to be? Yeah. Okay, verb to be, simple past. Were you sick last week? Ah, yes, teacher, I was. And I can say, what, what can you say? I'm glad, I'm alegro, I'm glad that, mm -hmm. and the idiom, the idiom, in simple past. Or in simple present would be, okay. Uh -huh. Say the idiom. That, uh -huh. that you that you get back get back right? on, back on, on your, your feet. feet on your feet ah okay you are saying ah me alegro de que estés de vuelta o estés bien okay that is the idiom or you can say ah I'm glad that you recover raining cat and dogs excuse me raining cat and dogs raining cats ah raining cats cats and dogs ah that is eh, when you have a heavy rain right heavy rain correct this is the idiom raining cats and dogs hmm? yes okay when you have a heavy rain when you have a storm correct this is the idiom that is correct heavy rain it means ah it's a raining a lot but raining a lot is normal okay good 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 okay continuing with this one i'm glad that you recovered ah me alegro de que te hayas <laughs> Recover. Or we can use this appraisal verb that you got better. Que te hayas que? Recuperado. Mejorado, recuperado. Okay, good. Or you can use the idiom. Get back. Get back on your feet. That's a different way to use uh not normal verbs or phrasal verbs all right 
Let's see what else. Uh, this link is about a video that is in the um, in the platform that you can check. Okay. Let's see what else do we have. What else? What else? Questions with with how with how short answers in short answers repeat answers. Answer. Answer. No W. W doesn't sound. No suena. No suena. The W. Okay. A speaking part. Question. Question one. How often do you work out? Um. Uh, lately, I don't work out. Okay. But you are saying how often? Hmm. Nowadays, ahora, hoy en día, uh, I rarely work out. And you? How often do you work out, Celia, de Carmen? How often do you work out? Edson? Mm, I... Some? Pardon, uh, sometimes. I sometimes. Work out. Work out. Okay, good. Next, next question would be. How well do you play basketball? Okay, how well? The WH question is how, how well. well. How well. How well, how well do you cook? Do you cook, uh, Jancy? Dan, Jancy, do you cook? Do you cook? Can um, you cook? Yes, I I cook. Okay. Uh, uh, I I sometimes uh, uh, very well. Uh, así está bien uh, estructurada la respuesta. Okay, I sometimes Cocino. cook. The Cocino. verb. The verb. Okay, I sí, sometimes. Correcto. Repeat it. Algunas veces cocino bien. <laughs> okay, but repeat it. I sometimes I, I cook. I sometimes cook. Very well. Very well. Okay, but the next question is how well? How well can you cook? How well? I sometimes, I, I sometimes uh, cook very well. Okay. When you say sometimes, cuando usted dice sometimes, eh, esa respuesta sería para how often. Because the first question is asking about frequency. And the second question is not asking about frequency. It's asking about uh, a degree in which you can do that activity. If you can do it very well, if you can do it perfectly. Como que también. Can, correct. Que también. How well? How well do I you can. play? How well do you cook? Uh -huh. I cook very well. Ah, okay, perfect. I cook very or well. Or I don't cook very well. Or I don't cook no, in no negative too. También. Correct. In negative is, is correct. Okay. There is different in the two questions. The first one is how? How often. How often. Uh -huh. And the second one is? How well. How well. Get how, well. how well. How well uh, do you speak English? How well do you speak English, Mario, David, Jocelyn, Elvira, Celia, okay, Ketchum, Jose, no. how well? Not very well. Ah, no, but you will, <laughs> you will improve. <laughs> but you will improve, pero va a mejorar, va a mejorar. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. All right. Then... Third question. The third question is with the WH is how long? How long? How long? Do you spend, Do you spend at the gym? At the gym? Okay. But we can change the we can change the the complement. We can say another thing. How long do you spend at work, for example? How long do you spend at work? Okay, participation is open. Everyone can participate. How long 
do you spend? How long do you spend? Mm -hmm. uh, what is spend? Spend is como dedicar. ¿Cuánto tiempo gastar o invertir? Oh, pasa, pasa. In this case, it's pasa. Correct. How long do you spend time? We can correct it or we can add. How long do you spend time? Mm. Okay. okay, and your answer? Long do you spend time? In, in the office, in your office. Twice or, a week. Uh, but it says... Twice how, a week. Uh, twice a week, it would be for this question. Sería para esta question, twice a week. Because that is the expression time. But in how this long question, is uh -huh. more specific? How long is talking about time? A specific time. Uh, the by hours. hours. Correct, correct, correct. By hours. Eight hours a week. Okay, but complete subject verb complement. I. I long. I long. Spend. Long is for the question. The I long spend. Be, I, I spend. spend. I spend. I spend mm -hmm. eight hours at work. work. At work. At work. At work. At work or in the office, etc. Yes. Don't say long in the answer. The verb yes. El verbo sí. Uh, how long do you spend uh, in at the computer? In front, in front of the computer, guys. How long do you spend in front of the computer? How long? I... I spend, mm -hmm. I spend eight, six hours in front of the computer. In front, six hours, okay. A lot of hours. Okay, good. How long do you spend uh, watching TV? I yes. spend one hour. One hour, okay, good. Yes. David? And you? Watching TV, series, movies? I spend around one hour for day per day. Oh, one hour per day. Okay, one hour every day or daily. Okay, all right, good. Good, good. Hey, guys, attention, attention. The four questions. Okay, and we have the last one. How? How, how good are you? Are you at the store? Okay, but we can use another another uh, complement. Not only at a sport, we can talk about cooking, about uh, I don't know abilities that you can have. How good? But attention, the four questions are different. The first one is how often about asking about the. About the how often, uh -huh. but out. but what is how often? What is when do you use how often? Uh, asking about the frequency. Remember, others of frequency is in this question. This one is how well. Que también. A degree of an activity. Un grado de que también es una activity. And this one. How long is talking about? Time. About time, correct. And this one is similar to number two. How good are you? How good are you at, uh, at running, for example? How good are you at running? I How am... Good? Mm -hmm. I am good. I am good at running, etc. Teacher, yeah? one question. Question, question, yes. What is the difference in the how well and how good? How well, they are similar. How well do you play? Que también. They are similar. We can we could do that. They are the same, but in different structure. How well? Que también. How good are you? The thing is, in this one is the auxiliary. 
How well do you play? ¿Qué tan bien juega? Y acá pregunta. ¿Qué tan bueno eres? Eres, ok, because of the verb to be. And the verb to be has two meanings. Tell me the meanings, the two meanings of the verb to be. Dígame los dos significados del verb to be. Cero estar. Cero estar. Yes, correct, perfect. That is the difference. Auxiliary and the verb to be. But basically, how good are you is very similar. Okay, the structure is different, but the context is, is very similar. All right? Good, good? Clear. Are, are we good? Clear? Okay, perfect. And these ones are the time expressions that you know already. Can you read them? Every, Every day. day. Every day. A week. Once a week. Once a week. Once a month. Three times a year. Not, Not often. often. Not much. Okay. On weekends. Once a week. Once only. Pretty good. Not so good. Not so good. Kinda good. Kinda. Kinda is so so. I am so so. Más o menos. Okay. Good. Three times a year. Three times a year. For which question is more appropriate? Three times a year. For how often, how well, how long, or how good? This one. Uh, how long? How long? How long do you spend? Mm, three times a year? How long? Yeah, yeah, it's possible. Correct. It's possible. Good. And this one? Pretty good. For which question? The last question. The last one. How good are you at sport? Ah, pretty good. Bastante. Bastante. What is good? Bien. Bastante bueno. Bien. Bueno, bueno. Bueno. No, bastante bien, no. Bastante bueno because it refers about me. Se refiere a mí. How good are you? ¿Qué tan bueno es usted? Y at sport. En sports, pretty good. Bastante bueno. Pretty good. All right, let's see. Uh, uh, Elvira is uh, texting using the chats. Yes, yeah, sometimes I could add work and I do it very well. Okay, delicious. When I rest, I spend a lot of time. Okay, not definite. Not definite. It is not precise, but is correct. No es preciso, pero es correcto. Okay, reading the Bible. Ah, okay, good book. That is a pretty good book. Muy buen libro. Okay, the Bible. All right, hey, what time is it? Do you have the time, guys? What time yeah. is it? Yeah. It's yeah. already time. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to review this part that we got pending about the simple past, the auxiliary did, but that is for tomorrow. Okay, guys, thank you for being in your third class. See you tomorrow. Have a good night and rest. Rest peacefully and happily. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Teacher. Have a good great night. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you. Take care. Bye-bye, everyone. See you, Jose. Take care. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night, Elvira. Have a great night. Thank you. Thank you.